A lot of people wonder how Trump got elected. Then you listen to his voters and understand. CNN decided to bring a few people in who voted for President Donald Trump and ask if their feelings about the president had changed during his first 100 days in office. The results were interesting, to say the least. And on one occasion, a little blasphemous. Trump voter Markley, when asked about Trump's possible collusion with Russia, responded with this bit of sacrilege, if Jesus Christ gets down off the cross and told me Trump is with Russia, I would tell him, hold on a second. I need to check with the president if it's true. But Mr. Lee's heresy was just one of several highlights provided by the panel. Anchor Allison Camarota referred the voters to Representative Jackie Speyer's remarks questioning Trump's mental stability. Panelist Jimmy Dozier replied, he has made millions of dollars. He knows what he's doing. This writer would like to remind readers that there is no positive or negative correlation between millionaires and mental illness. As Trump supporters are typically inclined to do, Hillary Clinton was brought up negatively several times in an effort to make Trump look better. Her hypothetical handling of North Korea and race relations were both discussed. Voter Daphne Goggins praised Trump's handling of North Korea, saying that Trump has to be tough with leader Kim Jong-un because he's dealing with crazies. At least one Trump supporter did voice dismay regarding Trump's use of Twitter. Panelist Amanda Delective said that Trump's use of Twitter was unproductive and wished it would be used by the administration in a more positive way. The panelists were also asked about the many issues Trump had changed positions on from his campaign to the presidency. The supporters gave President Trump a pass, saying that once he became president, there was a learning curve and people can and should change their minds once they are presented with all the facts. Of course, these voters have been presented with the fact that Donald Trump is a terrible president and haven't yet changed their position of support.